Is that just normal discharge or a sign that your water is leaking? Knowing the difference could save your baby's life. Don't ignore the signs, learn the truth about leaking amniotic fluid before it's too late. Causes of leaking amniotic fluid Number 1 Preterm Premature Rupture of Membranes PPROM When the amniotic sac breaks before 37 weeks of pregnancy Serious and may lead to preterm birth or infection Number 2 Full-term Premature Rupture of Membranes PROM Occurs after 37 weeks but before labor starts Often followed by labor within 24 hours Number 3 Infections Urinary tract or vaginal infections can weaken the membranes and cause leakage. Number 4 Multiple pregnancies, twins or more, increased pressure on the sac can lead to rupture. Number 5 Trauma to the abdomen falls, accidents, or other injuries can cause the sac to rupture. Number 6 Previous preterm birth or prom history increases the risk in subsequent pregnancies. Number 7 Smoking or drug used poor lifestyle habits weaken membranes. Number 8 Amniocentesis or other procedures Procedures involving a needle in the womb may cause leakage. Signs of leaking amniotic fluid Number 1 Clear, watery discharge Normal vaginal discharge, amniotic fluid is clear or pale yellow and odorless. Number 2 A constant wet feeling Underwear feels constantly damp or wet, even after changing. Number 3 Fluid leak increases with movement leakage may worsen with walking, coughing, or standing. Number 4 You can't control the flow unlike urine, amniotic fluid leakage cannot be stopped by tightening muscles. Number 5 Possible pinkish or blood-tinged fluid especially if the cervix is starting to dilate. Number 6 Decrease in baby movements, later sign, if fluid loss is significant, baby might not move as actively. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.